Good evening, good evening, and happy Sunday to you. January 1st, it is 2023. We're starting a new year. It's hard to believe that it is, 2022 is over already. Um, I'm just, it's gone fast um, in some ways. In other ways, it was an extremely slow year. <laughs> um, I don't know what it was like for you, uh, but I pray that you had a good year. And I pray that today's devotional helps speak to you and helps you understand that what we go through is all part of God's plan, no matter what it is. Um, welcome. I see a couple of you jumping on. I know this is a weird time for me to be on. Seven o'clock in the evening, Eastern time. Um, hi, how are you? Um, I apologize for being late today. Um, we had family visiting from uh, north, uh, from about three hours north. It was my husband's whole family came down. There were 20 of us together. It was wonderful. It was just such a, a great experience. I'm trying to see uh, if I'm popping in here into the group and it's not showing up. 4 p.m. in Washington. Oh, it's early for you, huh? <laughs> Let's see if it's showing up on my phone because it's not showing up on the... Um, on the Facebook page. So let me see here if I can get it to come up. Uh, sorry about that. I'm not sure why my my computer is being slow and pulling up the actual video. Hmm. It's not showing up on my phone either. So I can't see who you guys are. All I see is a Facebook user. So I apologize. Um, let's see here. If you click the link up above in here um, and give them permission to see your name um, then it will your name will pop up whenever it comes up and i won't have it doesn't say facebook user. see well, look this is this is what it shows here that's what it says it's facebook user <laughs> so i don't know who you are unless i can see it in the feed and for some reason it is not showing up in my facebook feed right now it's just showing some of your journal pages, which, by the way, you guys are on fire for filling out these journal pages. You have done so well. I'm just absolutely amazed at how quickly you have done. Oh, there you go. There it's popped up. Emily, Debbie. All right. There you go. Now I can see your names. Good. Okay. <laughs> Love lady. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, so we had family in, all right, and they stayed uh, overnight in the local hotel, which was wonderful. We spent all day yesterday celebrating. Um, that was the first time that the 20 of us have gotten together since my father-in-law passed away um, three years ago. So it was super nice to be with the whole family. Um, you know, Christmas time is usually a time when you're able to get together with family, and um, it was just priceless. It was so such a great opportunity to spend some time and actually sit and talk and chat with them all. So so um, they spent the night and then we got up this morning and we all went out to breakfast and um, just spent the day doing all kinds of things. So uh, that's why I wasn't able to get on earlier today. So I am here now. Uh, one thing I'm going to say real quick, um, you guys, I am absolutely thrilled with how much you seem to be loving the new journal pages that I design. Um, I put them already in the Facebook group, um, so you can actually just right click on them and save it and print them out. I am going to be offering them on my website as a little booklet until I get this actually uh, sent to the, to the printers and get made into an actual journal. But I'm going to be making it into an actual little booklet and then there'll be um, at least 10 pages worth, I think, that um, you'll be able to either download and print yourself. Um, so that you have them as uh, a printable and you can just print as many as you want. They'll be just having the date on them and then you can use the journal prompts for the month to fill those in. Or if you would rather have me print a copy for you, I will print it as a, um, as a cardstock outside edge and then the inside pages will be just regular paper. Uh, but I know some of you don't have good printers and you're not real happy. You're having trouble with the spacing and things like that. So I will have that available to purchase uh, for a minimum amount um, just to be able to get that put in an envelope and mail it out to you. I should be able to mail it with a first class stamp. I'm going to make it as many pages as I can to make it that it's still under um, a, a, the weight that I can put it in an actual envelope without having to charge the extra shipping. Um, shipping is 
is killing me because it's um, usually 450 <laughs> to ship items out to you if I can't fit it in a first class stamp in a regular envelope. So I'll try my best to keep it at a weight that it'll fit right in an envelope and then I can ship those to you if you'd like them printed, okay? Um, otherwise, if you, you can download them until my journal's ready, all right? But I'm so glad you guys seem to be really, really liking the journal. All right, so I'm gonna be starting a brand new journal today, okay? I finished up my last journal, um, six months worth. I never thought I'd be able to do it, but I got six months worth of journal pages. I started on uh, July 1st this year, and I was able to complete all my pages through the whole six months. I have never done that before, guys. I don't know, some of you are really, really good at journaling, and you've been journaling for years, and I just applaud you for that. Um, I have always been a very sporadic journaler, and since I started this group, it has been just what I needed. Uh, use that accountability post to make sure that you're saying that you've done your journaling for the day or whatever you need to do to help you stay accountable. Um, but I've journaled every single day. If you do not have plans to journal every single day, that is no problem. Okay, if you want to journal three times a week or once a week or whatever, that is totally okay. It is totally up to you how much time you want to spend journaling. Um, that, that's, there's no right or wrong way how to do that in this group, okay? Whether you purchase one of my blank journals and write in it, whether you have a notebook for the dollar store and you write in it, whether you print off my pages and do it, um, whatever you do, the most important thing is being in the Word. That is what I want to accomplish with this group more than anything else. So I pray that that is what God leads you to do, all right, to be in the Word. So speaking of that, today's scripture is Isaiah 43, verse 19. In our blessed method, that is the B, that's the Bible verse. Listening for God's voice. I am. I, I prayed today, all day, to ask God to let me know what message I should be delivering today with this scripture verse. I looked at some of the pages. You guys have already had some great journal pages, which is just wonderful. I love that you're getting into them. Somebody commented about how, how deep this was and how she just could, could have journaled so much. Me too. I could have done it too because there's just so much that can be taken from this verse. So let's get into it. Then we're going to go to the E for exploring the history. So Isaiah 43, 19 says, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. So Isaiah was a prophet during the time when the Israelites were in the Babylonian captivity. And he often shared past experiences to call attention to present events and to reveal future promises. So in this verse, right before this one, in verse 18, he wrote, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Then he finishes with today's verse. See, I am doing a new thing. He's reminding them that God led his people through the desert, giving them everything they needed to survive and he will do that again for them now. And he will provide for them in the future as well. If he freed them from Egyptian slavery, he will free them again now from the Babylonians. So the prophecies of Isaiah, they're found in the New Testament more than any other Old Testament writer. And at the time, he wanted the people to remember who God was and what he had done for them. He wanted them to remember that failures are the kindling that God uses to express his strength through us. It's in our weakness. He is strong. We learn to grow so much more efficiently from failure and weakness than we do from winning. It's not easy and it hurts a lot more, but if we're going through a desert right now, he's preparing us to make a way through the wilderness and the streams. He's doing a new thing. We just celebrated Christmas. A baby boy, born to a virgin. 
angels singing at his birth, a bright star leading the shepherds and the wise men to all the new things. They were all new things. And then we had John the Baptist, Jesus's cousin, appearing just as he was prophesied. And he was calling for them to repent and make a way for the Lord to arrive. The coming of Jesus is the new thing that Isaiah's prophecy was pointing to. If 2022 was a challenge for you, as it has for so many of us, whether you dealt with suffering or loss or any kind of challenge, remember that God is doing a new thing. He is always in control. We probably don't have a clue what he has planned for us, but he is most definitely providing a way in the wilderness for us right now. And we walk with him daily. When we are in his word daily, when we're journaling, he allows us to see all of the new things that he's doing as we are experiencing them. So we need to pray that he'll remind us of his constant and consistent love for us and be prepared for all he has planned in our lives for this year, because it's going to be an amazing year. So I just pray that you are opening your eyes to what he has planned for you. If you have any doubts, just get in his word and read what he has done and what he continues to do for us. Okay. All right. Hi, Mercy. How are you? Good to see you here. Thank you so much for joining me on this Sunday evening. I greatly appreciate it. Um, let me know. Uh, if you, what you thought of this verse, what it meant to you, if you haven't posted your, your description, your, uh, uh, um, devotional yet, uh, feel free to do that or use the accountability post. Just say that you are done. And, um, if you're watching this on replay, let us know you're watching it on replay. Okay. And, um, that's it for tonight. I will be on tomorrow morning. I should be on all this week at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So I should be um, every day. I'm looking at my calendar and I don't think I have anything that um, will conflict with it. So we should be good for 10 a.m. every day this week. And we are starting new beginnings, guys. That is what our January scripture prompts are all about new beginnings. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. And um, I will see you tomorrow. Have a blessed day.